G'day guys and welcome back to Montage Sports. My name is Taj and today I'll be previewing the 2021 AFL Grand Final being played at Optus Stadium. This time I'll be taking a look at it more strategically considering that this is a big part of their big part of the game. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. Let's get straight into it. So both teams are such entertaining teams. They're very high scoring and I love watching both teams play. They've got great scoring averages. They love going down the corridor and playing attack of footy, unlike teams like West Coast, who play slow, slow brand of footy, Richmond, who play a low-scoring brand of footy, Geelong, who um, just play very attacky, but sometimes they play really defensive, and Sydney Swans, they just try and flood, flood the opposition's forward 50. But these two teams, they love scoring, they love entertaining their fans. Not just Melbourne and Western Bulldogs fans, but their... Um, AFL fans in general both um, are very entertaining and that's why lots of people love them. I, lo I love both teams. Both teams want to put scoreboard pressure on early. They want to have a great start and they, they want to have a massive confidence boost running out and they're going to have the adrenaline rushing. Once you get those f four, first four or five goals on the board, like if you get the first four or five goals on the board, that is a massive, massive... Um, advantage but yeah like they just gotta have that advantage they really want to start well like I think every every team that kicked the first three or four goals in the grand final has won maybe apart from Collingwood in 2018 but yeah that, that, they just gotta do that Melbourne Demons now they need they need Tagger James Hart to come in take the bont out of the game completely Marcus Bontepelli great influence up has a massive impact on the game and that is why Melbourne needs to just keep him out of the game, chuck a tag around him, like, for example, James Harms, and keep him out. Now, on the Western Bulldogs um, side, they need someone to limit Christian Petrarca's influence. Usually, they'd have Liam Picken um, in the past and Toby McLean as a taggers, but Toby McLean's out for the season. He did his ACL a few weeks ago, I think, and... Um, don't know who that tag is ha tag is going to be, but they're going to need someone to limit Christian Petrarca's influence, even Clayton Oliver maybe. Dog the Western Bulldogs forwards they need to crumb. The ball's going to be on the ground in their forward line all the time because they Josh Bruce is in there. He can't fly. They can't. They can't. He can't fly. Um, they don't really have much tall forwards. They got a heap of small forwards. They got heaps of great attacking midfielders, but Melbourne's defenders they got um Steve May. Stephen May, absolute gun, can take marks out of anywhere. Harrison Petty, another tall. They just got to, the ball's going to be on the ground. They just need to come, come around front and centre and deliver. Now, the Melbourne Demons, they really have to kick to their tools. The Western Bulldogs don't have much tall defenders. I think they've got Alex Keith, who's pretty tall. They've got Eastern Wood and Zane Cordy, who aren't that tall, but they're medium size for defenders. They've just got to kick their tall forwards. Tom McDonald, Bailey Fritch. Ben Brown, even Max Gorn when he's up forward. He dominated in the preliminary final against Geelong with five goals. Absolute gun. And he played exceptionally well, taking big marks up forward to kicking big-time goals. I reckon that Max Gorn win the Norm Smith. He has to have a massive game like he did against Geelong. And he has to be one of those big-game players like he has been previously. He's played three outstanding games in his last three games. And hopefully... He can keep on producing his producing that and keeping his form up. Um, both teams need to have a great start. As I said earlier, they need to have a great start. They need to kick the first couple of goals. And they need to keep their confidence up. Once your confidence is low, then you're pretty much stuffed. Because it's a grand final and the crowd's going to be roaring. If the Western Bulldogs get a great start, I don't think Melbourne are going to be able to come back. If Melbourne get a great start... And the crowd is roaring because most of the fans at the stadium, at Optus Stadium, will be barracking for the Ds. They haven't won a flag since 1964 and everyone's jumping on their bandwagon. But the, nobody really hates Western Bulldogs, but that's just what's happening. But Melbourne Demons get it off to a great start and the Western Bulldogs, I don't think, are going to have been any chance. The Western Bulldogs has got to stay in the contest. They've got to... Even having, even having a great start would... Um, be great for them. They just need to stay in the contest and keep up with the Melbourne Demons because if they have a terrible start, then the game is pretty much over. Hope you enjoyed watching my grand final preview and see you in the next one.